Hi, I'm David Tunnel, and you're probably watching this because I wrote an article about CO2 systems. This is my filling station. Usually I just do it on hand and knees uh, or in the back of the trailer, but today I'm doing it so that we can stand up and see a lot better. There's several ways of filling it. I made a homegrown unit, which I mentioned in the article, and uh, it works well. And it does have a pressure release on here. It doesn't, not as nice. And this valve is just right at the limit of what the tank's pressure is. So security is a little bit of a question, but I, it worked for when I did it. I um, have talked about uh, power tank, and um, power tank, this is what they prefer using a power tank, but it's a little advanced. You, you can't see the weight of the, of the unit as you're filling it. You have to know by temperature and feel, you know, this has been sitting in the garage, so this is cooler. Um, it's a cool day, and this has just been sitting in the back of the trailer. I, I le le left a little bit in there so I could uh, just open it and chill it a little bit so it'll fill fast and efficiently. Uh, you can also put this in the refrigerator on a warm day so that the tank is cool and you'll get your fill properly. But I, this one you just can't weigh it and I just, I'm not good enough at it yet. If you, if you filled a lot of gases before, this would be great because it's just, this is the off position, this releases the pressure and this uh, fills the tank and the, you know, it's really quick. This unit here is, um, is uh, flexible and it is again from Power Tank and uh, uh, I was having so much trouble with this that, that I contacted them and they, uh, they, they, they've got, they, they said, oh, we have another unit that's a little bit easier to use and I said, oh good, I need easier. Um, now you may want to wear gloves as this is chilly. Uh, I'm going to be hanging it in a minute but uh, it's, it, it does freeze. So what I have is this, I make sure this valve is closed. I open this all the way like as if I was using it as a gun and I want to release the rest of the pressure in this because I need this tank completely empty so I get a tear weight and a tear weight is a zero weight uh, uh, including what I've got on my uh, unit so you can hear the CO2 going out and the tank will freeze itself so uh, uh, he, he, they have a glove or a sleeve that you can fit over this for filling um, or you wear gloves, which is he's also suggests in the safety manual. Uh, we've had such a wonderful winter that uh, I'm so immune to cold right now, um, but it is cold that uh, it doesn't really matter to me anymore. So I've emptied it out, and what I'm trying to do is get this to zero out for me. All right, uh, so I'm at zero, and this only reads in. Uh, uh, kilograms or pounds and ounces so I, this is a 20 ounce tank so I want to fill it to one pound four ounces so I'm gonna watch the gauge closely open up the unit you can hear the uh, I can hear the uh, fluid flowing in it takes a little while to get in there is you got to move a little bit quick there there is one pound four ounces so I've shut off the main valve here I shut off the valve on my 20 ounce tank now there's still pressure between here and here and that's besides releasing all the pressure out of the unit it also lets you let the air out of the hose here so that when you open this and a glove would be nice right about now you don't have the back pressure that pops off and which ends up with the other unit I had ends up rolling this little gasket and freezing it which kind of wrecks it okay I've got to fill a couple more tanks here so that I'm ready for next week's work um, I hope you enjoyed the video thank you